Okay, good morning everyone. This is Melissa with the Stock Swoosh and I'm going to go over the market. When I got up this morning at the crack of dawn, I looked at the market gap and I thought, wow, today is the day. Today is the day the market does it. If the market's going to do like a short squeeze, basically. Squeeze out the shorts and the buying's coming in already. And I thought it was very interesting the way that we fell yesterday afternoon. I even looked it up and then I thought, did something happen? Was there like a, <laughs> I mean, I, I just didn't even understand what happened here. Didn't make any sense. I was like, okay, fine, whatever. And then I thought to myself last night, laying in bed, I thought, we are, we, 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 if we gap down tomorrow, I thought to myself, we're going to break this year and we're going to fall and we're just going to, we're just going to fall all year then. And then I thought, fine, we're going to fall all year and then I'll short spy. And then I get up this morning, I looked at this and I thought, <sighs> and, and it's playing out exactly the way that it, I thought it would and the way I predicted and, and the market is going to absolutely explode. You can go long the market today. You can go long any, any strong stock today. The play really today is long. The play is long probably the rest of the week. And I have looked very hard this morning to try to find a bullish gap. I cannot find a good one. <laughs> but that being said, I'm still going to do my short today. But the market is absolutely going to take off. And it's going to, it's, it's getting bought. Or this would not look anywhere near like this. I fully went to bed last night with the way we fell into here, expecting us to gap down. And I was like, okay, fine. Because I knew that we could not go down here again because I knew that if we would, we'd break it. And I knew if we gapped down, we'd fall down and we'd fall and we'd break it. And I, and I fully expected to get up this morning with a gap down. And then when I saw this, I said, here, here, okay, here we go. So, I mean, this isn't even gonna, this could happen, this is gonna happen today. I mean, this is gonna happen today. This is where everybody in the planet has shorted the market. And there's a bunch, a bunch of other areas, but the short squeeze is gonna come in and it is gonna make the market blow and once we get up over 200, the more buying's gonna come in. So the buying's gonna come in, it's coming in right now, we won't be gapping up. Then we're gonna get a short squeeze here. Then we're gonna get buying at 200, and then we're gonna get more short squeezed here, and we're gonna get more around this area here, and more buying will come in here. I mean, every point that's heading up the ladder is gonna make such a big move because of the shorts, and then every point that's buying's gonna come in. So at every different point, what I'm talking about, buying is going to come in, and then shorts are going to get squeezed. And they're going to, they're going to run for cover. They're going to run for cover. And, and I mean, this looked so bearish last night. I saw the way we closed. It made no sense to me. It made no sense at all. I fully expected us to gap down today because this made no sense the way we fell yesterday. I thought it was a reaction to something. I don't know why we did. It doesn't matter. Here we go. We're going to rally. I mean, we are going to rally. Oops. So the target to be normal for the SPY today is as long as 196 a dollar. But once we get up to this area, this is this is you know we could keep going. So I'm going to say 198. In fact, I'm going to predict it's March 1st that we will see over 200 before the end of the calendar week. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We got four days to rally five points we're gonna make it because this is it this is finally the end of it and it really needed to be it really needed to be I mean I fully fully expected to actually get up this morning with a gap down and I knew if we did I knew that if we gapped down this morning we'd fall and I knew we'd come all the way down here again and I knew we couldn't do that I knew we could not do it and we're not going to market fell yesterday because of China again I should just assume that every day the market's red is because of China. <laughs> well, anyways, so this is Melissa Arma with the stock swish. I just wanted to get my thoughts because this morning when I saw this, I thought we are gonna blow today. Today's the day. And then walking back from the gym this morning, I just thought, I just thought this is this is it. This is it. This is it. This is the end of the there was no downtrend in the market. I and mean, there really was no down in trend in the market. It never broke. But everyone in the planet is, who is going to get squeezed in shorts, and it's, there's several different levels, because I don't think people will give it all up in here. I don't think people will give it all up in here. And once again, this goes back to the saying, you know, if you're in with the trend right, you get paid in the long term. This, you know, did people get out here? No, probably not. Probably not, because the target for people to the downside was 
way under here because people really thought we were going to collapse off the planet. So did people cover in here when they were up money? Doubtful. So people are going to lose now that's short of the market. And, and, you're going to, and it's going to be like a flurry. I'm saying it's going to blow, meaning it's going to, it's going to, it's going to blow higher. And it's going to do a flurry. And this is the first area here today. And I think we get over this today. If we don't get over it today, we get up to it today. And if we get up to it today, then we'll get up on through it. And we actually almost got up over it the other day. And I thought we were going to do it the other day. That was the Friday. We, we just couldn't do it. So this is Melissa Armour with the Stock Swoosh. Great call I made here in the market and so tough, so tough this year to see we do it. We will make a brand new all-time high in the SPY this year. And we will finally do it in the queues. We didn't do it last year. It's over 120. I don't know the timing of that because I, I got to see what happens here. But it, it's, it's going to happen so fast. It's going to happen so fast. And that's what happens when big money steps in. It's, it's going to be almost like unbelievable. It's, this, is, this is like the stuff that dreams are made of for the, for the spy call that I made. And for those of you that did it and bought it at two cents or four cents, I mean, this is the stuff that dreams are made of to be in these things. And the time to go long is now. Overnight stuff, long-term stuff that's strong. If you don't do it now, you're going to miss it. This is great buying opportunities in here. All right, have a good day, everyone.